Hey guys, it's Panda. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little video on what I'm uh, dealing with now to get my uh, free government phone going. Um, I'm having some financial stress as usual and I, if I can help it, I can drop the $55 a month phone bill. That would be a big help on my finances. So I've been looking into getting this free government phone because I did apply for one when they first started doing this. Um, way back when they gave you, like, the little shitty, like, um, that big phone that had, like, a keypad on it, and it wasn't a smartphone at all, it didn't have anything on it, um, but I still have that somewhere in a drawer somewhere in my apartment, but I wanted to apply for another one because I can't afford to keep paying $55 a month for my phone that I mostly just have connected to my Wi-Fi every time I'm using it so I don't use it hardly ever um, on the phone service so instead of wasting that money I'm just gonna I was trying to get um, one of these free smartphones you're supposed to be able to get through these services and there are a lot of services depending on where you live in the country um, there was like at least half a dozen different websites that were um, advertising in my area for a free uh, smartphone and uh, service for it. So this is the one I applied to a long time ago, SafeLink. I recommend you use this one. It was the first one that ever started. It's the most reliable one. Um, I tried using it, but it kept saying my address was invalid for some reason. Um, so I guess it you might have uh, luck, bad luck, depending on if you're living in an apartment or a multi-house dwelling or whatever it's called. Um, it might be tricky, but it didn't accept my address for some reason, so I had to try a bunch of different places, and I <laughs> rooted out some obvious really bad ones. Um, like I said, SafeLink Wireless is the best one to go for if you can get your um, get it in your area. I recommend that. Um, this is the first one I tried, and this is the worst one that I dealt with. Um, I applied, I put in all of my proofs, I filled out the thing like three times. They kept asking for different proofs and better pictures and I sent in like three or four different pictures of each proof and they kept saying it was like every time they opened something saying I needed to redo a proof. Um, if I didn't get it done and sent in in like two days then it would expire and I had to reapply the entire thing again and it's a kind of a long tedious process to apply um, but I mean if you're getting a free smartphone and free service it's probably worth it but um, I recommend you do it on your computer and not on a phone because it was extremely difficult doing it on a phone and this is the one you want to stay away from it has really bad ratings um, they will say on a lot of these websites that you can get like um, hold on if you click on apply um hold on let me just put in mine and it will say you have like okay come on now what do i have to click on there we go it will say you can pick from like all these free phones that they have which are like they, they show you, a, well now it's not showing me that, of course. Apply now. Takes forever to load, sorry. Um, okay, well, I don't know why it's not showing now, but when I opened the first page on here, it showed like... A shit ton of really good phones on here like it'll show you a, a menu of phones you're supposed to be able to pick from except it doesn't they don't actually have those they just have like really shitty phones that they'll send you but um, so I don't I okay this is another one that um, I tried to apply for now see it shows on here no purchase necessary, you get a free iPhone 7, free Galaxy S9, it shows like the Galaxy S9, the Pixel on here. I, w I was really excited because I thought I could get a Pixel of any, like, 
model because I really wanted, or even a one plus. They've got, see, they've got all kinds of um, like really good phones on here and also some off-brand ones. They've got Pixels, uh, S7, an iPhone 6, an L40 Thank You. Like there's a lot of them on here that I that I thought were really good, but there by by the time you get to the part where you've sent in your information and you can pick one, all of these will be quote unquote sold out. So you won't be able to actually pick any of these. Even the A50, even like the the mid-range Samsungs will be sold out because I tried going through this whole process on these websites and they were not available. Like they only had a few off-brand ones available. So the one I ended up using is this one, Life Wireless, because it, it was a really quick application compared to the other ones. Um, also though, they don't let you pick a phone. They just send you one and it's only $5 shipping and they send you one um, in like two days because I got mine in like two days after I finished, uh, after they charged me shipping or whatever, it was $5 shipping. So um, Life Wireless is what I'm using apparently. I, I have no, um, a ability to say what the service is like yet because I'm just going to be doing my video of unboxing the phone to see what they sent me. So be right back for that. Okay, sorry, it's bouncing a little. I tried to put the tripod on a different table than this one so it wouldn't bounce as much. Okay, let's see what we got here. is my free government smartphone from Life Wireless. Oh, okay, that didn't open at all. Nor would it matter if I ripped that tab off either, apparently. Let's try this way. Wow, okay. I make these out of tires now. Okay, I don't think, no, no, why I expected it to be an actual phone box. Never mind. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. Guess I'll be uh, probably keeping the phone I'm recording on after all because I don't know what the fuck this is. A tiny thing, that's for sure. Yep. Don't know what year it is, never heard of the brand. It's an Android, I guess. That's pretty much... <laughs> it's not even a 720p. <laughs> okay, well, there'll be no uh, video viewing on that, probably. Yep, definitely going to be keeping my other phone. It's already been open, too. It's not even a new one, whatever brand this is. Okay. Oh wow, the SIM cards are, are not even in it. Look at that. Or are already in the phone, I guess, because they're certainly not in here. Whatever those <laughs> the point of that is, I have no idea. Sky devices. Yeah, um 16 gigs. Wow, that's I'll be lucky if there is any room whatsoever for anything on there. It literally has no weight to it. This I've never felt anything this light that's supposed to be a device. I've never in my life. Like, not even the, the keypad phone they sent me like 20 years ago was this light. It's like, it feels like it's empty. I will be shocked if this actually works. I will be shocked. And I hope they're willing to exchange it if it doesn't, because this is ridiculous. Wow. Wow, dude. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Well, it didn't have the battery in it, so that's probably one reason. Okay, so if it doesn't have the battery in it, how does it have the SIM cards in it already? Because the SIM cards were missing. They're both, the whatever was in here is missing. So I guess we'll find out, and then it's got this cheap, janky, whatever charger in here. I probably can't even use the charger that has, that goes with this 
Samsung phone I'm using because it would probably blow up. Holy crap, this is a janky as F charger. Wow. It's like one of those little cheap things you get with like an LED light, you know? I don't know <laughs> what I expected. I don't know why. Of course, I'm not going to let you pick one when this is the kind of crap they send, I guess. I mean, come on. At least on the other websites, you could pick from name brands. I mean, this is just sad. This, this is just... Of course, it's micro USB. Of course. Okay, well, um, I guess I will have no choice but to try using this for my regular phone. I'm never going to be using it for media streaming, that's for sure. So I guess we'll see how it works for calls and texts. Because that's pretty much all I'm going to use it for. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, report back later on that. But I think I'm going to have to keep using my, my current phone for everything else. Because this is just ridiculous. I only got it to use for calls and texts so I could cancel my phone service and just... Have, I was hoping I would have a phone on my unlimited data phone service that they're going to be providing me that I could actually use for media at some point because you know when I'm out of the house I don't have Wi-Fi so I have to have something to do it on there but like I was hoping you know for a phone I could actually watch something on this is not going to be usable for that um, so yeah I just wanted to show you guys what you get so I would definitely recommend um, SafeLink Wireless because I think you can pick your own on there. I didn't get that far because they wouldn't verify my address. But either way, you can pick on other websites if, you, if you're quick enough. You might find a Pixel 1 or, you know, some other really old name brand phone. But at least you get something better than this because this is really bad. But I guess we'll see what it looks like. I guess we'll see what it looks like. I'll report back after I try it. That's the best I can do. Um, I still have to pay on my Samsung phone before I can like cancel everything or whatever before I can close out my account with T-Mobile or whatever. Um, so otherwise I'm just going to be using it on my Wi-Fi for media streaming and recording my vlogs and stuff. I really was hoping to get the, the one phone I had picked out on, on another website before my application was denied a bunch of times was the LG Velvet, which I really wanted because I got my hopes up for that. And it's got a really good camera and it's a really good screen, really good device. So, you know, that's, that's the one I would have picked. And if I can maybe angle somehow getting getting myself a used one um, I think they're only like 150 bucks on eBay if you get a good used one I might still try to get one of those but for now I'm just gonna stick to my Samsung um, so yeah it's a mid-range it does okay on vlogs for now it's not like anybody cares so yeah that's that for now um, good luck if you apply for a, a government phone Maybe you'll get lucky enough to be able to pick one, I guess. But yeah, that's what you get for five bucks. A piece of plastic that is weightless, basically. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm hoping to do a regular vlog pretty soon. So I'll see you in that one. Peace out.